friends welcome to our course math essential for machine learning and uh, today we are going to discuss about the gaussian random variable and this also comes from our intuition uh, from what we saw in the case of uh, that restaurant business right so in our restaurant business we saw that you know we if we plot our distribution function and if uh, this is our minus 10k and I'm just repeating it here what we have done in our previous video and this is 10k and uh, this is 50k right these are the four different values that your random variable can take right and we have drawn some probability of that thing happening right okay so this is the distribution uh, in, in case of a discrete uh, random variable and similarly we can have a distribution like this right in case of a continuous random variable okay now having having this uh, in place uh, what we can generalize is uh, from this concept is you know how random is your variable right how random is the variable right and is there anything called as uh, that this is the most random uh, variable, right? It has, is there any such concept like that? So in our restaurant business, we know that the variable, uh, it can take minus 10 or 0 or, you know, 10 positive or uh, $50,000, right? These are the four values it can take. But there could be other discrete random variable as well, which, uh, you know, in case of our, see if we are rolling a dice, so it can take the values of 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six in case of a dice whereas if we are shuffling a cards then we know that there are 52 cards right which we can shuffle now all these things are random variable in such case these are all discrete random variables and then we also saw continuous random variable where we are predicting the you know, height of a person in a city or what is the temperature of a boiling water or a liquid right so those are the continuous variable now what we have observed or particularly mathematicians has observed that the Gaussian random variable is the most random variable that is there or still known this is the most known random variable that means any any variable which is less random is not Gaussian so Gaussian is the maximum random so eventually when we learn few more things we will look into a concept called entropy okay and uh, that will tell actually how random a particular variable is but for the time being just understand that Gaussian is the most random thing if I flip a coin so I can get either a head or a tail this is a very simple random variable and if I want to predict uh, the profit I'm going to make then I know it's minus 10 0 uh, 10 and 50 K right this is a little bit more random than this case this is more little bit more random uh, similarly things can become more and more random and we know that the maximum random variable is the Gaussian uh, random variable okay I'm repeating this over and over again just to uh, lay an emphasis that uh, the Gaussian random variable is the most random variable okay and mathematically it has been also possible to uh, write it this way so if it is a function if I represent the Gaussian random variable with the function x being the random variable the value it can take it is given by 1 by root over of 2 pi okay e to the power minus x square divided by 2 in this case your mean or the expected value right or your mean is 0 we already have seen how to calculate expected value and the variance in this case is is equal to 1 okay so if I draw it in my uh, graph here it would look equally distributed around like this so it will look something like this and here is your minus 1 here it will be say plus 1 and this is 0 right so your mean is 0 right and your standard deviation and variance in this case will be same because uh, it is 1 so square root of 1 is again 1 so in this case this distance is 1 and this distance is 1 so this is also known as normal 
write normal Gaussian random variable or normal Gaussian density function okay and if I move this and if my graph looks something like this that means my mean has moved up here instead of zero it now has some values and this portion will be now some sigma x plus mu x and this portion somewhere around here will be mu x minus sigma x and this is just a Gaussian random variable this is not the normal one because in normal we know that this is should be equal to zero and sigma x should be equal to 1 or the variance should be equal to 1 both standard deviation equal to 1 okay now this also can be mathematically represented something like this your f of x x being the random variable okay and this can be generalized to write it this way you know 1 over root over of 2 pi sigma square okay e to the power negative of x minus mu whole square divided by 2 times sigma square so if you notice if I replace sigma square with 1 and mu is equal to 0 then I go back to the normal case right okay so what I mean to say is why this uh, Gaussian random variable is important so for example when I was calculating the height of uh, people right in a city now a person's height depends on many things so if here is a person all right it depends on what is the height or length of his head what is the length of his torso and what is the length of his legs and many things and the bones inside there are many variables which are present in different human beings and they will vary with within certain values right and that could be very random okay so the uh, differences between you know the torso of one person and torso of another person this will be quite random right the length of the torso of another person could be quite different right and eventually when they add up so if I add up the head different head size of different people different torso uh, length of different people and different leg size of different people what will happen is uh, you know they will become eventually a very random value and it has been observed that the Gaussian is the most random variable and if we have to and, and this is comes becomes very handy when we are doing machine learning uh, because you know uh, typically we will not be able to predict each and everything from our data right there will be something which will always remain hidden and that what is what we want to make sure that is as random as possible and it is not following a certain pattern right uh, it will become more clear as we look into the machine learning algorithms in our future courses so stay tuned to this channel uh, we'll explain how all these things comes and under you know this randomness and we want to define those randomness with Gaussian random variable so that we at least know that whatever error we are getting in future in from that data those are as random as possible okay so we'll see it will become more obvious as we see into some examples so stay tuned continue watching these videos and it will become more apparent okay so for the time being just keep in mind that the most random variable that is available for a fixed mean and fixed variance Gaussian is the most random variable and any other random variable is not as random as this one okay so I hope you have learned something new today Please subscribe and stay tuned to our channel. So till then, have a great day.